when do I sell? Yesterday in our Friday Stock Talk, Stan asked the question, when do we sell? Uh, and what he was referring to is that we have uh, put together our bus 13 portfolio, and it's up 87% year to date. So when do we sell? When do we take our profits, and, and how long do we hang on? First of all, I need to say I'm an investor. I'm not a trader, so I'm not looking for short-term profits. I'm looking for long-term gains. As Stan said, okay, when do we sell? I use momentum trending, and that's built around the 200-day moving average, which tells me when to sell. I've built it into the bus 13 and bus 12 portfolios so that it's there as a reminder as to when, how far am I away from that 200 moving day average on each of my stocks at any time that I look at the portfolio so that I can be alerted as to when to sell. Now, this whole philosophy was built around history. And I'm going to take you in this uh, video to my computer and show you how that history works. And then I'll relate it directly to the uh, bus 13 and bus 12 portfolios. But first, I need to tell you, this is not financial advice. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, this is a Trading Views, uh, which I use quite often, and you can find a link uh, to get a discount on it in the description. And this is a chart on uh, Microsoft. And I want to explain to you the 200, how you use the 200 moving day average to tell you where to sell. I did not develop this. I cannot take credit for it. Uh, I copied it from a guy by the name of Paul Tudor Jones, who is a renowned um, hedge fund uh, operator and has had some tremendous history. I think he had five years in a row where he uh, achieved over a 500 uh, percent return, both from buying and uh, and shorting stocks. So. The red line here is the 200-day moving average, and as I said, this is Microsoft. So let's look, take it back to a time we all remember, and that was the, the coronavirus and, and how stocks dropped. And as you can see, Microsoft was running a good run, and then the uh, coronavirus hit us, and the bottom fell out of everything, and it went below its 200-day moving average. Well, let's assume that then we we uh, woke up and said, hey, Microsoft isn't going to go away and the world's not going to come to an end. Uh, let's go and get on the wagon and catch the momentum. And as Microsoft goes above the red line, and that's going to be our signal from this point on, uh, we buy. So we buy Microsoft here at somewhere around $150 a share. And we write it up and it does some ups and downs and we just don't worry about it because the red line is our friend. And it gets to a peak up here about 350. I think we bought it at 150. So we, we've done well up until now, but it starts to go down. But again, the red line is our friend and we just continue to hold. Uh, but when it crosses that red line, we sell. Okay. So we now sold at uh, 293. We bought it at 150. We made a good, a, a good piece of change. All right. So we sit on it. Uh, and we just continue to watch the red line. It goes down. It finds its way back above it. Uh, we buy back in at, uh, at 301. It goes up to uh, 317. It crosses the red line again. And uh, we sell at 305. So we made $4 a share. No, not a big thing. But we also didn't lose this. Okay? We didn't take it down to 240. We ride it up. Whoops, it doesn't quite... It meets resistance, and it doesn't cross the red line. So luckily, we don't ride it all the way down to 211, and then down again to 216. But we do take it, and we buy it at, at uh, 250, call it 254, and we ride it down, and we sell it at 250. Uh, we lost $4, okay? But then again, we buy back in at 253, and that's where we are right now. We bought in at, at 253, and it's currently selling at uh, 342. Okay, so what do we do? As Stan said, where do we sell? We had a we had a, a slight downturn. We got up to a high of uh, 365, and it closed at uh, 343. What do we do? We wait. We wait. The red line is our friend, and it will tell us when to sell. If we look at history, we're right here. Okay. And we're going to come down a bit, and then we're going to move sideways away a while, and then we're going to steadily climb, and we're going to steadily climb. And the red line will tell us 
where we are. Now on my bus 13 portfolio, it tells us exactly where the red line is. It tells us right now it's at um, roughly 273 and it, it calculates what is the percentage difference from the 273 to the 243 and it tells us on a daily basis how far we are from that red light because when we hit that red light, we sell. Okay, is this peculiar to uh, to um, Microsoft? Well, let's let's just look. Let's look at Apple. Is it does Apple do the same thing? Let's go back and trace the same history. Here we are. We would have bought in when it crossed the red line in uh, April of 2000, and we probably wouldn't have actually sold until. Um, what is it? May of uh, 22. And we would have gotten out and uh, possibly got back in here at 158 and got back in and sold it at 161. Didn't make anything, but we didn't lose this. That's the important part. Now, if we are, if we are aggressive and we, we wait and we see when we get so many candlesticks below the red line and we decide we're going to short, we can make money down here too and write it back, and then buy back in, probably get right out, buy back in, and that's where we are now. We bought uh, Apple at 149.9, and it's at 199.91.4. Is it going to come back down to that red line? There is no doubt that it will come to back to the red line. But if Apple continues to climb, that red line will come higher and higher, and so our exit point, it becomes higher and higher. And what we're doing is we're guaranteeing that we're going to make money on each one of the stocks that we hold for investment purposes, for long-term investment purposes. When it runs out, we will know that because it will go below the red line and it will stay below the red line. So that's how you deal with stocks of uh, substance that, that you've had a while. Now, those of you who have followed me regular know that um, several months ago, I uh, told you about a book called The uh, Genesis Machine by uh, Amy Webb. She also uh, wrote the book, The Big Nine. And she, in that book, told me about a stock by the name of Twist. Uh, you look it up, you'll, you'll find out what it, what it does. And as a result of that, I bought it at, right down here at about, uh, it was $15, $14, dollars a share, and now I'm up some 60-some percent. But what I want you to look at is what just happened. This is the history of the stock. You see, uh, it had a run-up. It got up to $139 a share, and right there it crossed that red line at, at 121. And it has not come over that red line again until just last week. So I want you to look at this stock. I want you to do some research on it. I want you to go to Seeking Alpha and read about it and see what the, what the general opinion on it is. And you learn what Twist does. It's going to amaze you. Um, it's about uh, synthetic biology. And if we follow the trend, Twist is starting a new trend. And the red line has told us to get in. The red line will also tell us when to get out. My job, as I see it, and it, relative to the tribe that I have put together, a group of people, uh, just over a thousand right now, who want to work with me and work alongside me to basically make better investment decisions. So I use my knowledge and my research and my experience to identify the changes that are going to happen in our society, in our world, and then try to identify the stocks that are going to facilitate that change and so that as they grow, my portfolio grows, my profits grow, and we, we move forward in a positive direction. Then, as Stan said, when do we sell and what do we do when we sell? Well, if, we're, if we are committed to our sale, we might short because we want to be in a position that if the market is collapsing and, and is genuinely collapsing for real reasons, well, then let's get on the other side of the trade and short it and make money on the downside as well. And that's what my role is is in this whole equation. As I said earlier, I've built the sell points into the bus 13 and the bus 12 portfolio so that if you are a part of our, on, if you're on the bus and you come to either our Discord or our future website, which should be up by the end of the month, you will see what, where the stocks are, where they're trading, what they've done on a monthly basis, a weekly basis, and a daily basis. And then you're also going to see where they are relative to their sell point so that on a 
daily basis, you know if you're comfortable, if is there a red light there or is there a green light there? And that's how I want you to look at it. So let's look at that on uh, my, on the portfolio. Okay, so this is the bus 13 portfolio. It even has a picture of the bus. And as you see, we have uh, 21 stocks currently in it. And then we show an average of them as we do the S&P. And these are the stocks that I believe are going to be instrumental in building out the internet. So then what I do is I give you, I, I do this historical thing to give you confidence and to give me confidence that these stocks are going to give me a consistent return, whether they're up or down today, tomorrow, next year, whatever. And this number tells me that Apple has consistently since 20 or since 1999, is that what it is? Yes. Given an average return of 45%. And then we go across for Microsoft, Amazon, and such. So we do that on every one of the stocks that we have uh, in the bus 13 portfolio. And then I give you, break it down on a 20-year, a 10-year, a 5-year, 1-year, a uh, year-to-date, 1 month, 1 week. Then now this is the live port part of the portfolio. That is to say, these prices change on a every, I think it's every 15-minute uh, basis. I have coded them to do that. And so it gives me what it is year-to-date, what it is monthly, and those numbers transport up to here. So then what I d have done, and I've just added this, is to say, okay, where is the 200-day moving average on Apple? And it's the 200 moving day is $157.54. Now that will move and change on a daily basis, much as their current price of $191.94 will change on a daily basis. Now, what percentage drop does um, Apple have to take from $194, uh, $191.94 to get to $154.47? It's got to take a 17.96 percent drop okay so as 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 um as apple's stock goes up or down this number will change so what does that do for me well the first thing i looked at and said was who's my safest stocks who's got the highest well wow um smci is 59 percent above its um it, it's 200 day moving average. So how do I use this then to alert me to what stocks are getting kind of close? And I see this at 10.3. I come across and it's ASML, a $693 stock. It's, um, its red line is uh, uh, only 10% below. So this gives me the reason to read about ASML, and I happen to know why it's that way, because I have read about it. They they did not give as strong a future earnings um, because they, they are, their orders have not kept up with the pace that they were in, in the past. So I'm now going to watch ASML and see if it does come down to the 623, I'll sell it, okay? That will be my signal to get out. And I will notify everybody in, in my portfolio to do that. The only other one I see that's even close to that is the S&P 500. Uh, it's 10.5% away from its um, uh, red line, its 200-day moving average. And then we have, what is this? This is um, INTC, that would be Intel. Uh, and and I, again, uh, for me, Intel is a long bet. They're the ones that are building the, taking advantage of the CHIP Act and are building uh, foundries in both uh, Arizona and Ohio. And they're in there only because I believe they're a long-term bet. But if they get below $29.43 or whatever that number happens to be, the day it goes down, I'm out. So this will be is currently available to you on the discord and will be available to you on the website now what i will advance into that is you will also get a breakdown of what do each of these stocks do and what is their current trend and what is the current feeling so that you'll have one source that you can go to and say what what is smci and why is it up 497 percent for over the last year and 264% um, year to date. Why is it that way? You will be able to learn all that 
on our website. These two portfolios are basically built around change, and that change is artificial intelligence and the coming of machine learning. I believe I have identified the companies, and as a result of that, the bus 13 is up 87% year to date. Now, the bus 12 is just being constructed, but we, all, we do have several stocks, and we have identified two other stocks that we want to get in. Again, we have identified the buy points that we want to buy at, again, using the, our momentum trend and they will then be a part of the portfolio. Those that are in the portfolio right now, the BUS12 portfolio, are up uh, 76%. Let me be clear. I've, I've made a change in my attitude towards uh, my YouTube channel, uh, towards the website that I'm building. I'm not here to entertain you. <laughs> I'm not going to razzle and dazz you with uh, fantastic graphics and a terrific presentation. There's plenty of people who do that and do it very well and uh, do it in such a manner that I can't compete with. But what I can do is make you a better investor. What I'm also going to do on that website is share with you some of the best videos that I think I have seen from some of the best minds that I think I have I've been exposed to. I'm also going to suggest that you read a lot of books. Uh, I'm reading a book right now of, about... Um, Fall in love with your problems, not your opportunities. And it's giving me some tremendous guidance on how to build a unicorn. If you don't know what a unicorn is, just Google it, and you'll see where the path of best of us investors is ultimately going. We want to be your everything financial stop so that you can go one place and you can get the answers you want on any question you have. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to incorporate this thing that they talk about called artificial and intelligence and machine learning. In essence, what I've learned is, as a result of my research, is I have one mind. I have one source of intelligence, and it is made up of what I have learned and what I have remembered uh, and what I am continuing to learn. But what artificial intelligence does is it opens up my world to all the minds, all the data, all the information in, in the world. And if I can channel that information and sort it and, and uh, put it in a form that is understandable, I can then regurgitate it to you, and you and I can become multimillionaires. Now, if we want to become a billionaire, that's basically what the unicorn's all about, we then have to take that knowledge that we've acquired and package it in such a way that it helps other people in the world. And if we have, it, and it helps them with a problem, and if there are enough people with the problem that we're offering help for, they will pay us a monthly fee for it. And it, much like uh, Netflix, they're nine, I think it's now up to nine billion people who so, who send Netflix a check for $11.62 average per month, and that's how they became billionaires. You have that same opportunity. All you got to do is organize the data that you can access and then present it to other people and make their lives better. And then you too can become a billionaire. That's all Jeff Bezos did. That's all he did. He rented a garage in Seattle and said, there's an easier way to buy, buy, to buy books. And that's what he did. He solved a problem for you. And then he decided, well, maybe they'd like to buy music too. And maybe they'd like to buy clothes and anything and everything. And now he has the everything store. All he did was solve a problem. I don't have to get into the car to go get my paper. Okay. I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm a retired financial advisor. I enjoyed being a financial advisor. I built a large business. I sold it in 2005. I retired for a number of years. And then I needed something to do. And uh, I found YouTube. And now I found you. And I think I can help you have a better life. I hope you agree. If you do, go into the Discord uh, and get on the bus. Talk to you again tomorrow, probably. Tomorrow, probably.